to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Ooh, James. What's up? It's the end of 2019. Of an era. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. We're heading into the roaring 20s. <laughs> Oof. Shut up. See you next decade. Yeah. Have you, have, <laughs> have, be honest with me, have any of your bullshit friends posted any. Excuse me. Any parties that they're like, well, we're having a roaring 20s New Year's Eve party? I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Is it too early for like planning New Year's Eve parties already? Can't be, right? No. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's next week. Is it? Ah. God, you're right, it is. It's crazy. So, no. It's crazy. We're going to um, be out of town, so we're giving everyone a recap on 2019. And from what I'm listening to with podcasts, this seems to be sort of the trend. Is that this is where we do the recap, uh-huh. and then we just kind of take care of the bullshit, and we'll see you Next, next year, year yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean? So see Jan six, yeah, mm-hmm. because it feels like Christmas and New Year's are the same time. Well, it's, this year they're right in the middle of the week, the, yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about the fast Thanksgiving again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can we hear it's again? True. It's true, though. It really is. If true. I hear it one more time, though, you're gonna lose all of your. shit. I'm gonna lose all of my shit. And every time somebody says it, I'm like, it can't be more than just like a couple days. But. No. It's a week. It's a week. It was a, it was a week later this year. Look. Um, obviously, since we're recording this a little in advance, I don't. I won't know who won the Ohio State Clemson or the uh, Oklahoma LSU game. So I don't know. I don't know who's going to be the last champion of this decade. I hope it's Ohio State. But if you're listening to this and you're wondering, well, why isn't Ross celebrating? Doing coke off the goddamn table? Is I don't know. We've recorded this in advance. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my lady and I. And on Chidgens, uh, going to the mountains, mm-hmm. kind of escape for the end of the year. Because mm-hmm. 2020 is already shaping up to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, like, Busy. in the news or for us? Busy, as yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. So, the media company is expanding. Yes. Your, your new show. Expanding. I, I can you're right. I am I can expanding. officially say it. Um, no, you're not expanding. Uh, I can officially say it, though. Your new show will start... Um, Probably around the middle of January. Middle of January. All girls. We'll roll out. It's two chicks. Two chicks. Talking about cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are you guys talking, talking about? Talking about, well, I think in the first episode, we maybe talk about some uh, butt plugs. Mm. Um, and then we talk about everything from, you know, pooping our pants while drunk to infertility and miscarriages. So it really is like everything that girls... Go through. Go through, talk about from top to bottom. Sure. Um, in a setting where it's just me and her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Girls do act a little different when guys are around. And you know what I'm saying? No, I know. Girl, look, I... I if just two girls hanging out, you'd be surprised. I know how <laughs> disgusting girls are from working at <laughs> a bar all those years yeah. in college. Yeah, No one wanted to clean the girls... Oh, bathroom. which bathroom was worse? The girls. The girls. Every time. Every single time. The stinkiest. All of it. There was blood. Trash, there was blood everywhere. Makeup. We have a lot more things going on. Ugh. It was always the worst. And there was always just like, hey, I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, no. So You I, shouldn't I, have to, by the way. But I guess there is always. You're working like, at a bar. You don't yeah. have a choice. You got to do it's all of like it. It's like you're going to make the girls do it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here. End of the decade. Um 2019 was a great year, really great year. So busy that it it just, it flew to me where I'm like, oh shit, we're at the end. Uh, It's it's fascinating to me how you work on projects for so long. Then they finally come out and you're like, oh man, that was amazing. Like, dude, the book, uh, I know it's on camera right now. Thank you for my service. Nine weeks consecutive on the New York Times bestseller list. That was... An end-all, be-all bucket list item for me, checklists, like, hey, I'm a New York Times bestselling author, and that happened this year. 
um, officially. I mean, the last book made it last year, but uh, officially where they were like, hey, congratulations. Welcome to the club. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, That's amazing. That's amazing. If I can replicate something like that in the 20s. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also did learn things, though, about that, where once I did it, I don't have any interest really about. I enjoy publishing on my own now, now that I know the numbers and figures and the promotions up to us anyways you mm-hmm. know publisher doesn't really help you that much so it's like eh, all right cool uh, doing that i know that i you can't get back on the list because there's a certain amount of, of weight that goes in the stores and all that stuff so mm-hmm. i don't know if i'll ever be there again therefore 2019 is super special and that was it that kind of stamped it for me i was like all right great i've done that um next year is more about the media company for us mm-hmm. and getting your new show up and running Mm-hmm. Uh, expanding the studio, which we're doing now, mm-hmm. um, and opening up your new because you'll have your own set. Yes, and I want to make that clear: we're not just sharing these sets. Like uh, we bought a four thousand square foot building for a reason, so that way you'll have your own set that'll be separate from everything else. And mm-hmm. I know you're decorating that now. Yep. And I'm amped about that. I'm amped about that show. Yeah. And then we're looking at like cooking show options and taking on other hosts and it's going to be big but it started in 2019 so like if we do if we do a couple different things which is like a decade in review Mm -hmm. 2019 in review and then just an us review right of just our news pretty big right media company book blah 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 um what else i mean you know, I, the obvious one, obviously. Come on, James, you know. What? You know what I'm talking about. This year? Yes. 2019. We found a Ukrainian dwarf who had passed okay. herself off. <laughs> I was as like, a, James, that's the biggest we had a story kid to last me. Year, I don't yeah. care about anything. Oh, that was crazy. The Ukrainian dwarf shaving her bush. To, yes, 2019. To, be, to stay an orphan was the biggest. Gave us the best crime corner of all time. That was the greatest thing of all time. That was the which biggest. Which was that one. And it was ongoing. And uh, it crossed over from show to show. Never laughed harder. Never laughed harder. Um, It's gone into our sponsors. I mean, it really <laughs> has. 2019 has given us the best crime corner. And you're right. <gasps> Oh, that's my favorite thing of the year. A, a lot of people might say, hey, you know, there's a lot that went on in the news. No, nothing is bigger than that. In my no, mind. nothing's bigger than that. We will never get a story. I f- Here's my biggest fear. We will never get a story as good as that. I know. Well, y- yeah, probably not. Posing as a child. Probably not. Faking it as a child, hiding her periods and shaving her bush to be a six-year-old. Is, or, it's the greatest, man. We'll never get something like that in our life. Right. Um, so we might have peaked. 2019 might be the peak. You ever worry about that? No. <laughs> you no. Think it's, it's, you're right. I will say this. It's only going to get crazier. Before we get into the top stories of 2019, uh, quick predictions for, for 2020. I, I think it will only get crazier in the sense that, I, look, if the economy stays the way it is and the market is just booming right now. Sure. So is everybody else. I mean, everybody's working. This is the the lowest unemployment rate in our entire lifetime, mm-hmm. it's 60 years, uh, and our parents' lifetime, most of us. Mm-hmm. And there is no way that Trump does not get reelected unless the economy shits the bed and we go through a recession next year. Yeah. That story for him for another four years will be an end all be all freak out of epic proportions where they've tried to impeach him twice now, right? Mm-hmm. And neither the Russia thing didn't stick. I will say this work. in our review, we will not be putting that on there. What? The in- impeachment. No, anything. no, because uh, it's it's been covered. Yeah, we're it's, good. It's been done, and yeah. and nothing is going to happen with that. Yeah, so we're good on that. Therefore, like talking about it, but I think that will roll into 2020, where people are so mm-hmm. pissed off that they'll go out and vote mm-hmm. in spite of it, and mm-hmm. say, "Hey, man, you guys were a bunch of whiny babies," and. I can't imagine what's going to happen in 2020 Mm -hmm. towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dan Holloway and I are also running for school board this year. Mm -hmm. Um, That's that's an amazing feat in its own. Mm -hmm. Uh, Staying true to ourselves and saying, hey, I don't believe politics should be in the school board. We're going to run independently. Not Republican, not Democrat. Just giving that a go. 
That's massive. Mm -hmm. um, I think next year is going to be a time of uneasiness is what I think. Why? There is so much talk and speculation of the election and so much like hurry up and let's get this going. Um, when you were sleeping last night, ABC did a recap of the year show. Mm -hmm. um, they spent three fourths of it, it felt like on Trump. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, and every, you know how they have those little talking heads? Like, mm -hmm. And every single person was like, I feel like 2019 was 10,000 years long. Yeah. Because we're waiting for 2020 to get him out of office. And I'm like, brother, it, you're going to be waiting another four years plus this year five. So maybe. Yeah. The, the I think the uneasiness going into this, mm -hmm. this election is going to cause a lot more people to be on edge this year, mm -hmm. which is crazy to say mm -hmm. because it seems like a lot of people are on edge this year. Right. Uh, next year. Good luck. Good luck. And I think there's going to be a lot of big surprises out there uh, that we don't know about mm -hmm. that will be unveiled during this election, whoever it's going to be. And I, I think, I think 2020 is going to be a crazy fucking year. I really do. I mean, just an all timer where you're just like, wow. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hmm. It'd be even better if Ohio State started off with a national championship, but I think it might calm down a little bit. Nope. Not one prayer. Cause you're getting, you remember, you remember the 2016 election, right? You're getting into the, the rhetoric that's going to be amped up for this. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Holy shit. Because of the hatred of, of the of the current president. Mm -hmm. it, there's going to be a lot of desperation and a, and a lot more crazy shit to come. I, 2020 is going to be off the chain. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, I, and I know I've said this off air, it is going to be a golden age of podcasting. Yes. I think you're going to have endless stories and endless new, uh, news items, and it's going to be amazing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, for us personally, for the media company, we had a lot of huge guests this year. Oh, that's right. Shit, man. Alex Jones. And then Alex Jones returned. How crazy was that? Uh, Milo. We've had some massive, massive guests this year. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. And I can, I can tell you this. For the new year, we've already got two that are recorded that are bangers for January. And it's pretty incredible. Uh, pretty incredible. We were, we were able to get a $422 million bill passed through Congress because of Drinking Bros. Yeah, that podcast. was huge. That's massive. Yeah. That's what we did in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just everything that, that has gone on, this has been... One of the greatest years ever, I, I feel like. Um, but it has been so busy. And I'm talking about for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, it has been so busy that it's it's almost hard to enjoy it. I'm, I'm hoping to take this week off at the end of the year and look back and be like, wow, I can't believe all of this happened. Yeah. Uh, for real. Because uh, there, there's been some phone calls and some, I mean, fucking hanging out with Post Malone and shit. Like, mm -hmm. what? In what world is that? And I heard Rogan on a pod on one of his shows the other day talking about like, in what world do you live in where you can just hang out with the people that you, you're fans of, and it's just like, what? Yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah. And, it, and next year's only going to get crazier. Yeah. Uh, what about for you personally this year, 2019? Um, I think definitely the media company. Mm -hmm. Kind of same thing. Um, and starting uh, my show. Yeah. Yeah. My big thing happened t 2018. What was that? I had a kid. So Oh, uh, well I ha I mean I had that, but yeah. Uh-huh. And so this year has to be honest with you has been a blur. And so if we were going to do resolutions, I would say next year would be a balance and focus year. Because when you do have a a newborn and a year old and you know, mm -hmm. it's just a blur. So I think it's been a blur for me. <laughs> yeah, it, ha it has for me in a good way where it's just like, hey, you got to be here. You got to be here. You got to be here. And it's Yeah. And so I hope to and starting so many new things. So going into the you going into the year with a new born. Mm -hmm. Right. And then starting. Having another baby, which is this, <laughs> you know, right at the same time. So uh, I think I have a different experience with it than you did, but. 
I'm like just now starting to see everything, right? So it's kind of perfect that it's happening at the end of the year and we are going to be able to look back and start. Everything's really starting for me next year, I think. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm just able to focus more and just be really excited about stuff and try and be focused and balanced. All right. Way to go, Javes. Yeah, way to go. That better not be on your chick show. What? Focus, balance, uh, my truth. You know? Yeah. Get out of here with that bullshit, James. Let's get to the year in 2019, shall we? Get out of here with that bullshit. Great. You can save that for the girls show, you know what I'm saying? Balance and focus. Come on. You sound like Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm totally kidding. Okay. Totally kidding. All right. Uh, music. Let's start with music. Okay. First in, uh, if you're most, um, you're in music. Been a little weak this year. Been a little weak. Um, I have a feeling that that's gonna, that trend is going to continue, mm-hmm. simply because you're going to have more SoundCloud rappers and all that other shit dominate the charts. Um, this year's albums read like the year before's albums. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, the year before that, mm-hmm. uh, top albums of the year: Taylor Swift. Yep. Post Malone. Yep. Kanye West. Yep. Um, Billie Eilish. That yeah. one was a new. No, she's new. Yeah, um, she's, she's new, new, which is great. But I feel like you always have one of her every year or year before. Like Lord, mm-hmm. she reminds me. She's very Lordish to me. Right. Yeah. Her next album is slated out in March. It better be a banger. I know you weren't a fan of this. The first song, neither was I. Really. What but of her, the? Yeah, her new. Yeah, song. the new one that she put out. I mean, it was me. If that's slow. your lead single. Yeah. Uh, you you could be in trouble. Like. And, and I know that's a trend now is to put out a single, you know, a few months in advance. The, the reason behind that, by the way, for people who are at home, like is an insider thing, those numbers for that single count towards your opening week album sales. It's kind of like pre-sales for a book. It counts for all your opening week sales. Therefore, you have a better shot at being number one if you put out a single a few months in advance because it gets streamed over and over and over again and they count that now. Mm-hmm. So that's what they're doing. But do it like Post Malone and make sure it's a banger. Because, I mean, Post was uh, Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, huge song. Next one was Sunflower. Mm-hmm. And it was like, then the album came out, and you were like, well, fuck it. We've already got two number ones on here. Good to go. Yeah. Good to go. Uh, and then the Kanye album. Um, it ended up being number one, but. Uh, mm, by the skin of its teeth, and a lot of people didn't like it, mm, including me. Yep. Um, I li- look, I liked half of it. Uh, same. I'll, I'll say the same thing everybody else is saying. I, I, I feel like it was incomplete, and I'm not sure what happens to him in the 2020s. To be honest with you, because he can't go back now. No. And if he's going to do another one of these gospel albums, make it a full, complete album, and I think that would have taken the heat off of this one. If, like I said, I liked about four songs on there, right? Mm-hmm. If he would have had a full 12 track album with full, complete songs in that genre, and that style, I, I think he would have taken less heat because there were f- three or four really good songs on there. But the rest of it was incomplete. I think he stays more in that religious category. The Osteen thing starts next year, the tour. Mm-hmm. So you have that. Uh, the Taylor Swift thing, I'm tired of her bitching. I just saw that interview about... Scooter Run took my music and mm-hmm. people are just buying up artists and whatever. You could have bought the goddamn music. I'm mm-hmm. going to say that. This is the last time I'm going to say this, Taylor Swift. You could have bought that fucking music. I, I guarantee you, your lawyer got a call and said, hey, we're selling this catalog. Do you want to match it? Mm-hmm. We'll be happy to give it to you. She was a selfish little bitch and said no, and I'd rather fucking go cry about it. She, she grossed $318 million last year yeah. in tours. That's one year of work for her, and you get to keep your catalog. And the reason I'm, I'm going to go hard on this right now and, tr- and to end... 2019 is this. It happened to me. I sold my first book to Simon & Schuster. Uh, I had a clause in my contract to buy it back, to buy the rights back. At the time, it sucked. I I did not want to give up that much money for it. However, I knew in the long run, if I kept the rights to the St. James series on my own, that it would be massively profitable down the road. Sure enough, man, I think it was... 11 months, I recouped what I had pa- paid for it, and then the rest of it is all goddamn gravy. Same thing would have happened um, because I got the same call as she did. 
or her people did, except for I take my own calls. Um, and you can do that and own the rights to your own material. It, it does go back to you, but you have to pay for it. I paid for it. So don't tell me that's fucking possible. I'm done hearing that. I just saw that speech the other night. You did too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so favorite album of the year to me personally, Posty. Mm-hmm. Most interesting. And I got Taylor Swift at two. Mm-hmm. Um, and those are the onesie twosies for me. And then probably Billie Eilish in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lizzo hosted SNL. Or not hosted. Uh, was the musical guest. Mm-hmm. She had one of the greatest posts of all time. She was great on the show, by the way, with Eddie Murphy. She's great. Um, she had one of the best posts of all time the day after she did it. What did she say? You know how SNL makes those great, whoever the photographer is, is fantastic, and they make those intro outros in and out of commercials. for Where they're like behind white, or, white or, background. Yeah, just or doing just something weird. cool yeah, in the yeah, city yeah. of New York. It was a picture of her doing that, and then she posted a picture of her working for a Liberty Mortgage Company. Oh, and did a 10-year? No. She said, uh, look. She did a 10-year challenge with it or whatever? No. Oh, She said, here's a side-by-side of me working for, she was a sign spinner out in the street Mm. for Liberty Mortgage or Liberty Mutual or whatever it was. She's in the full Statue of Liberty costume. Oh, my God. It's And she posts the the SNL picture next to this. And she said, look, your time is coming if you're willing to put in the work. Like, I knew my time was coming even when I was in this costume (laughs) as a sign spinner for Liberty Financial or Mutual or Mortgage, whatever the fuck it is. Now I'm on SNL. Your time will happen too. And it was a pretty big moment. Um, I I think it's her and Billie Eilish who were up for Best New Artist uh, for the Grammys this year. Okay. Uh, But yeah, as far as uh, onesie twosies on that, um, good to go. And that Bon Iver album was pretty, pretty goddamn good. Right. Uh, biggest disappointment, album-wise, Coldplay. I mean, I can just say that without. To you, yeah. To the world, I think. Well, yeah, but I think they were already disappointed. No, the last I looked it up. The last <laughs> album, Gangbuster Numbers. This one, it, you might as not even know it exists. <laughs> we might serve our our Christmas pork on it. Oh, it's, on the CD. No, uh, well, I'm going to go out and buy it on on vinyl. Oh, okay. So it's bigger. It's a bigger space. Yep. Because you're smoking a nine pound pork butt on uh, Christmas. (laughs) So that's going to be heavy, and I'm going to need vinyl underneath that. Like smoking meat and baking cakes. Yeah. Uh, Do you? Let me ask you this: Do you have an artist that you wish would drop an album in in 2020? One of your faves. One of my faves that would drop an album. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I did, uh, so stupid, Mumford and Sons, did they? I just oh, love any yeah, yeah, yeah. new thing that they do. I know yeah, that's I so stupid. It's not. But, you know, they were they started this whole little fucking stomping foot banjo mm-hmm. oh, oh thing, mm-hmm. right? I would like to see M83 come out with a banger of an album. I don't know what happened to them. I think they're done, but yeah. <sighs> it's tough. It is tough. It's tough. It's tough to say. Gaga. I would love another like acoustic type thing from Gaga. I think that was. Yeah, I bet you'll see an album from her. I, I know the Adele album is on the way. It oh, was that's gonna, right. It was supposed to be slated for Thanksgiving. The divorce was not final. She so did not she want that oh, no. fucking dude getting any of that. She so they pushed it. Right. I don't think anybody knows that, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, Gaga would be good. Um, like I'd love acoustic. to hear a Britney, a, a new Britney Spears. Not a prayer. I follow her Instagram. It is. Oh, she's fine though. She's <laughs> doing fine. Like nobody needs to worry about her, right? Oof, man, it's it's oh. uh, it's tragic. I mean, the makeup is always running down the face. It's the, um, there's it's a voice where it sounds it's like a vo- well a doll, it's a crazy like a, person it's a crazy person it and it is it's so classic and specific to like crazy ladies methed out you yeah. know on a lot of drugs uh-huh. which she essentially is they're all medicated like they're all um prescribed but she's on a cocktail of fucking shit yeah and it is not it has gotten out of whack and they need to get we need, they need to get those meds right. Oh yeah, because she is posting and acting and and she is um she's essentially like a crackhead. 
<laughs> but because she has money, because she's white, because she's somehow people are holding her shit together, nobody, you know. Nobody say anything. They are and they aren't. It's like we all kind of say, eesh, but that's it. Yeah. yeah. Because someone's taking care of her and you don't need to really worry about it. But I just wish we could all agree that we're watching uh, a mentally disturbed lady be um i don't know babysat uh watched you know i mean we're I, basically watching her on a baby monitor so her her she's got a boyfriend um he seems like a normal well-adjusted dude like i looked through his instagram and i was like all right what's the fucking story here um so i don't know i don't know what the deal is look you date britney spears you put up with the crazy you can do anything you want in this world. It's mm-hmm. endless money. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know the dad is out of the picture. Like they got him out of there. The, oh, the conservatorship the or something went to somebody else. And uh, well, the mom wanted it too. So who fucking knows, man? <laughs> who knows? But um, since we're talking about her, mm-hmm. who do you think will die in 2020? Mm. My death list. Uh, Posty was on it. He's not. I, he's not on on it he's for not me anymore. anymore. Um, I think he's starting to get adjusted to the fame and what all of this is, mm-hmm. and see how many people love him. Mm-hmm. He's not on it for me anymore. Um, I, I'll. Pete Davidson was on my. That's mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was on my death list. It was Pete Davidson. Did you watch Brittany. that? No. Um, were you sleeping? Um, he got on and said. Well, I think I'll be spending this this Christmas in rehab. And everybody was like, whoa. He said he will be? Y- yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I... I mean, he's just going to... Why the fuck did they get him live on air and let him say that shit? It was weird. It was during Weekend Update, too. So it wasn't like in a sketch where you're like, oh, this is a funny thing. You're just like, all right, sweet. Yeah. He's on there for me. RBG. This, yeah. RBG, well. this is the year she goes down. The death list is more someone that you see, like, going down a weird path and then... Yeah. You hear about them either overdosing or something happens where you're like, oh, my God, that's uh, the death list, Willie right? Nelson, Not people that are 100. Willie Nelson and Alex Trebek will be on this, uh, this okay. year. Okay, well, they're 100. I mean, sort of. They've got to go at some point, but, right? but But Keith Richards isn't on my list. He's going to keep living through next year. Okay. You know? Okay. I don't have Mick on there. I don't have McCartney on there. Okay. Okay. I could see an Iggy Pop going. You know, we were just like, all right. No, Iggy Pop is going to be alive forever. <laughs> it's going to be him, and Keith Anthony Richards. <laughs> him and Keith Richards just eating cockroaches at the end of the world. <laughs> Twinkies and, and cockroaches and them. Just like, well. Oh, you know who else? Ringo Starr. He's going to live forever. He's going to live forever. Yeah. It's going to be a, the three of them, and yeah. they're just going to be like, Ooh, we yeah. can ne- we cannot get rid of Ringo. I know. He just won't go. No, he's not going to go anywhere. Oh, oi. Oi. Oi, guys. Yeah. You ready to jam? No, Ringo, we're fucking good, dude. We don't need... <laughs> we don't need your one-two fucking <laughs> basic-ass drumming that somehow... Yeah. Somehow you just lucked into this life, Ringo, because you're not good. Man, when I was talking to Alex Jones, because I was asking him some of his predictions... He said RBG was going to go in June. It was going to be a, a huge fucking thing because you're going to be caught in the same situation as uh, 2016 where, where the Supreme Court justice mm. had to be replaced. And yeah, they were stuck because the election was coming up and they couldn't really do it. And it's just like, yeah, uh, yeah, man, the RBG thing would be if she goes around that time. It could be the Democrats who just push her down a flight of stairs and be like, we need this. This is the last push we need. Right. To I say, don't know. look, you're not voting for president. You're voting for this one yeah, seat. Yeah, I don't this one seat. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, babies. Babies of the year, Jabes. I'm going to take a stab at that. Or, nah. There's your girl. There's a couple royal babies. What's up? Yeah. What's the problem? Never be royal. Royal. It's just not in your blood. 
This type of love just ain't for <laughs> whatever that song is. But uh, yeah. she's right there. Bingo, bango. Are you warming up to Meg's? Meghan Markle? No. Oh, even after all your Anglo, is it, what is it, Anglophile? I'm not an Anglophile. You're, you're getting there. You're heading down that road. Why? Um, I'm not an Anglophile. Yeah. I mean, you're starting to watch all the British stuff, like, oh. <laughs> religiously now. I, I like come the in crown. And, and Downton Abbey is on. I'm going to lose. No. no, I like the crown. My ball suck. I'm fascinated a little bit by the inner workings of uh, the British bullshit. Okay. To be honest with you. All but right. the crown is what got me into that. Okay. Um, and the more I think about Meghan and Harry, they are not in line for any, like, they are the throwaways. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Their kids are the throwaways. Like, they're never going to be anyone. Mm -hmm. And so they can do whatever they want. You know, the fact that Harry even has to fucking be there and not be, because he is, there's heir apparent, and then there's the literally the, I think they call him the extra. He's literally called the extra one or something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And so it's rough. Like, for him, I I would just leave. I could see them moving to uh, the United States in 2020, like L.A. or New York, and just getting out of there. She so seems I've like heard, she doesn't yeah. want to be there. So I've heard. She's, yeah. She seems like she doesn't want to be there. And, you know, if you're him, you get a chance to go to New York and L.A. Because back in the day, people don't remember this, but he used to fucking rage over here all the time. Oh, that's dude. where he got popped with those nude photos was in Vegas. That's, he loves but you America. know that's my main issue with her. It's her being like, Prince Harry who? Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up. Everybody knew who he was. Right. Everyone. Yeah. Um, you loser. But <laughs> I do think that they they are going to come over here. I've heard New York. She has a lot of friends there. And um, of course she's miserable over there. Yeah. Like, she, again, they have no, like, they aren't, again, in line for anything. They're definitely, like, these outskirt, throwaway people because of his, you know, I think it's like Duke of whatever. What is he? Duke of Windsor or something like this. I don't, whatever I don't, it is, yeah. he's nothing. He's a nothing. Sure. And so, and his, again, his kids are going to be nothing. And they're growing up with William and what's her face? Kate. Yeah. And they are, they're about to take over. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it'll be Charles and then he'll die real quick. And then they'll take over, right? Right. So gro- they're grooming them now yeah. to take over. And so they have like, They have their place. And when they talk about the rifts between them, I think that's mainly it. Is one of the families needs to stay there and has a fucking job. And the other one is fucking nothing and always has been nothing. And so she's probably like, let's just fucking go. Like, they don't want you here. You're not going to be anything. You're just going to do little speeches that they don't want to do all over. They're going to send you to Africa because they don't want to set foot. Sure. So... Am I warming up to her? No, she's a thirst, thirst trap. She's dehydrated. <laughs> she is dehydrated, and she got what she wanted, and good for her. Yeah, she made it happen. Made it happen against she's all a odds. Against all odds, she's a she made it princess. happen. The best, uh, the best ten year challenge was a picture of her holding the suitcase because she used to be on Deal or No Deal, and then ten really? years later, a picture of her with the baby and Prince Harry. So. That was funny and is true, but that was what she did before. Yeah. Like, and now she's this. Wow. Good for you. That's Trump, all I'm going to say. Trump hosted The Apprentice, and now he's president, so anything is possible in this world. He did a lot of other things before that he as did, far as like, you yeah. know what I mean? It wasn't like I was the only thing that I did was hold a suitcase Yeah. on Deal or No Deal. And had a friend and hung out with the right people and scooted my scoot scoot way <laughs> into being America's princess. So, You're again, well, good for you. Yeah. It's like being so in awe. It's like, tr- it's like someone winning the lottery and then we're all of a sudden like, oh my gosh, can you teach us about the world? Yeah. Mm, you, all you did was buy a ticket. I could. I, th- I feel like I could teach the world now. I you can so. what? I could, I could probably teach the world after winning the lottery, you know? Teach the world? Yeah. Show the world things, you know? About yourself, probably. No, so, just about life. Um, 
So no, I'm not warming up to her. <laughs> but I do know she had a baby. And I know that's hard. But again, come back to New York. Quit fucking acting royal because you're not. Yeah. Now that James. Boom. Boom. Um, by the way, if, she, if they do go to New York, the fucking paparazzi. Good luck. Um, that's the other thing. You know what? It may be. Maybe less. Maybe go to Wyoming where Kanye's at. It might be fucking less, dude, than, uh, than where they are right now. Because they're always just in the shit where, yeah. I don't know, actually. We're pretty brutal out here. Uh, marriages of the year, Jabes. The Beavers. Oh, yeah. That's got to be that's gotta be number one with a, with a boule. Mm-hmm. A bullet, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, jeez. How old is That's too young, I think. What? Justin Bieber getting married. Was he 24, 23? I don't think he's 23. It might not be. Not, not Might not be. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, Lord. Either way, that is, that's crazy to me. That's a little young. Yeah, but you know, because they got into that, uh, that weird cult. Oh, that's a uh, religious thing. The religious thing. Yeah. Is that what they do there? Well, they're just very much, um, it's, it's a huge part of your life. Being married? He's 25. Okay. Um, no, it, the once you go to that church, it's like who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you are. You go to that church. That's part of it's. It's a. We have one of those it's here. One under. We do have one, and it's one under Scientology. In that, like Chris Pratt, and they kind of all network there, yeah. and it's the the pastor's famous and kind of is cool, and they're. It's a it's a celebrity church cult for sure. Yeah, I had uh, somebody give me uh, uh, a couple looks about what I do for a living, um, and I saw them a few weeks later wearing one of those religious shirts, one mm-hmm. of those things, and I was like, "Motherfucker, you're gonna judge me? Come on, dude, come on! I know what you do, you know? Right? I know it what was you're... for this particular church in town. Is that what you're saying? Yes, okay, it yeah, was, yeah. and I was like, cool. Let's not throw stones here because that house is all glass. That you're bro. Fucking sleeping in. Uh, bro handle. Um, divorce of the year. Oh, I got to. I got to go. Bezos, obviously. That was the record breaker. Oof. Fuck me, man. 50 what was it. Fifty three billion. She. <laughs> I mean, she deserved it. The other one that was uh, big to me was it. probably uh, B Coops, just because of the whole saga of Gaga and well, them did not get shallow. Neither one of them got divorced, but that was on my in the shallow. La, 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 that was on my la, 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 la. I told you so list. Yeah, it was. It was. You because that I last year. fucking told you, yeah. and everyone's like, "No, no," and you go, "Look, they're just doing it for publicity." I bet they had a conversation. I go, I don't care what fucking conversation they had. Nobody would be fucking cool with that bullshit. Yeah. Nobody. And neither one of them were. <laughs> Respectively, right after that, they both broke up. Big fucking surprise with their girlfriend who had their baby and the fiance. Yeah. 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 Because after that fucking performance. Yeah. After the Oscar performance, who can come back from that? Pennies were wet. Um, that was amazing. That Even was one I was of like, my biggest. That was on my list, too, of the biggest stories of the year as well. That performance? Just that whole thing. Because just the whole thing. Uh, it was amazing. The whole I, thing, I, I, the breaking got, up with, the are they, aren't they, the movie was awesome. I mean, it was such an intriguing thing for so long. Yeah. And every single person. Everybody got wrapped up in at that. At some so point I. was wrapped up. So did I. Since we're doing a recap of 2019, we're going to space out the sponsors. Uh, and, and we'll go through because we're going to do a, a longer show today. Uh, now, uh, first up, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I'm not even going to give you the whole rigmarole. I'm not. Um, we did a 25 percent off the entire store flash sale that is extended until january 6th so i don't have to go into anything other than that that is the greatest deal you will ever find yeah. for the greatest mattress company uh, in the history of the world go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today right now i mean literally right now it, everything in the store is 25 percent off sheets pillows the covers adjustable bases every size mattress all of their new products, everything is 25% off. And the beauty of this 
is the 36 month pay as you go program that is no that has no interest still counts so you can get the 25 percent off of everything in the store with the goddamn biggest deal ever you take the 25 percent off first and then you get the 36 month program afterwards i don't even know what that it's probably 30 bucks <coughs> might might even be cheaper I'm, oh, I'm yeah, so yeah, shocked yeah. I'm choking on it. Yeah. I can't believe it. Because um, it was like a, what, they did that for what, three days or something? I know people went bug fuck and I was like, man, I can't believe, it's just, that's too much. It's too much of a savings. Right. Um, good. Look, go exploit them and do it right now. Um, I did. I've used my own fucking promo codes, dude. Um, as soon as they said it, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm done. I got extra pillows and all the other things for uh, guests in town and, and everything else. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Flash sale till January 6th, 25% off of everything and in I the store. And I want to say, if you do get a mattress, I highly, highly recommend the sheets and sheet set. Yes, we have those. Um, They're amazing. Amazing. And the fits, it has like, girls, you know, mm-hmm. when you make the beds. Yeah. So it has this like amazing, huge band uh, yeah. elastic. Yep. Life changing, you guys. If you do get it, just add that on. It will change your life. Yes. Do that. Do that. Um, the number one most searched event of the year was a surprising one to me. Searched events. Searched events on According to who? Google. Okay. Um, which, let's face it, everybody uses Google. I know you're, yeah. you're still Bing and Ask Jeeves, but yeah. um, the rest of the world is on Google. No, I've moved on from Ask Jeeves to Bing. Okay, just that you're straight Bing now? Yeah. Straight binging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bing, no mish. Um, <laughs> was Jumanji. The Jumanji movie. Ended up being number one in the world, grossed over a billion dollars. And I think I think it's because, like, I was trying to think about this on the drive over. I was like, why, why is this one? Why is it this? Mm-hmm. I think it's because of social media. The two biggest social media stars in the world are Kevin Hart and The Rock. They get together for this fucking movie, and it goes berserkers, and uh, they already pumped out a sequel that's out now, and it's number one in the world. Yeah. Right now, already, the sequel is. Um, I have not seen it. Have you? I did see the first one, yeah. Mm. Are you, did you like it? Yeah, I mean, it was it was good. It was fun. It was, it was easy to watch. Did I need a second one? No. Yeah. But it really was like, uh, I think I took Jax, and like, you know, it was fun. Man, um, it was easy. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's crazy. Uh, the only thing that overtook it towards the end of the year, and obviously there's not enough time for it to be number one, was Trump's impeachment. Yes, but the fact that do Jumanji, a fucking remake of a movie, was the number one searched event on Google this year. Yeah. Like, come on, man, really? Mm. It does say a lot about the movie industry and what's popular and why and what everybody's doing and what what they're going to the movies for. If that's your number one searched event, you can originality. M- original movies are snowed, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're snowed. It's all going to Netflix. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, um, the biggest, the ten most followed celebrities on Instagram of 2019. Oh, fire away! Uh, Kylie Jenner, Avi, 140, 140, 140 million? million. Yikes! Um, she's the Travis Scott one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kim Kardashian, 144. Dwayne The Rock, 150. Selena Gomez, 153. Ariana Grande, 159. Okay. And Cristiano Ronaldo uh. rounds it out at 175, by the way. He's the highest out of everyone on that list. So here's what's fascinating because we, you know, obviously I, I host a sports show. No matter what you think of soccer in the United States, it is the biggest sport in the world. And our little piss country of 330 million people is a third of what China is, is a third of what India is. Around the world, soccer is the sport. And no matter how much we would love to believe it's NBA or and football. And by the way, the w- if you think you guys are crazy about football here, oh, you can fucking just sit back down. Yep. Yeah. Because soccer anywhere else. Mm-hmm. And, um, in the world. In the world. They he's a go beautiful harder. Man. Beautiful in that, like he's a attractive, pretty. Yeah, it's hard to explain. He's an attractive man. Yeah, and he's it's the like best looking, soccer player in the world. It's like looking at the sun. But yeah, 
Yeah, but he's the best player in the world too. Yeah, on top of that, so he he's a, he's a, a triple. It's, cra- it's crazy. Double threat. Yeah, it's crazy. So yeah, that number is not surprising. I just I didn't know he had a, an Instagram because it's it's never shared or it's never like oh hey did you see this the one that i follow out of this list is the rock Mm -hmm. and it's not like i'm the biggest fan of the rock or anything but i just felt like everybody else follows him so i was like yeah i guess i'll follow him what the fucking deal is i think that's how selena gomez got to where she is because you don't think of her as the biggest star even out of ariana grande or any of these people she says taylor swift you think would be up there i know so you go like why does she have the biggest and i think it's because everyone just kept saying it like that she has the highest 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 that you're like well i guess i should follow her then if she has if she's the most followed then i gotta follow her and then people just kind of make her yeah yeah she was with bieber though and that i think that helps because definitely they were they were you know a power couple for years right so yeah, man, I I think it's partially that, and then the other, you know, the rest of it, because she's kind of a snooze. Mm-hmm. You ever hear her interviews and shit? Like, she's hot. Sure. Just like, it's boring. Yeah. You're just like, eh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, do you follow her? No. Who's the, who's somebody on that list that you follow? I don't follow any of those people. Really? Wow. I would maybe follow The Rock. I like... Um, you know, his just uh, insane positivity. Yeah. And I'm fascinated by his whole thing. I'm exhausted I mean, watching his Instagram. It's just. I'm oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. To not I mean, sleep and not do yeah. that type of shit all day. I mean, congratulations. So, I mean, wrist, again, like, would I follow him? I don't know. Um, what are celebrities that I follow? Hang on. Yeah, I I'm follow, curious. <laughs> I follow Ricky Lake. Kurt Russell. Are you? <laughs> Wait, are you being serious? You oh, follow yes. Ricky Lake? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, Jabes. <laughs> Ooh, what are we doing anymore? <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. You and the kid by Keanu Reeves Reeves. Um, <laughs> Reeves Reeves. Uh, we should tell the audience what that inside joke is. You made Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Yeah, so it's it's him. It's like everywhere. the uh, Reeves Reeves. Witherspoon thing that actually everybody does now. So I'm like, all right, let's move on to something else. Yeah. Um, Keanu Reeves is in the same vein. It's sort of a wreath of his face and all different, all the different Keanu's. <laughs> um, I so go to at st james st james. You can see this. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, Jamie, but uh, here it is, right here. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Is it too small? Yeah, he's giving it a thumbs down. Go to at st james st james on Instagram and you can see it. Uh, I posted it before we walked in today. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> eh, um, Kevin Costner. You follow Costner? Oh, yes. It's funny. Look at I you. think from Dwyer. So I followed Dwyer Brown, finally. Obviously. I guess um, him and my family had like a nice Thanksgiving together. Great. So I thought, huh. Let me follow. Does, him. He, does he know about the video? No, but he like pulled my mom aside and was just like, "Your kids are awesome, and they're just like so great and so successful, and they're just great people, and you should be really proud." And I'm like, "Dwyer, yeah, why well, you got to be so nice?" We're so anyway, to, so, we're and, and this is a real story. and yeah, and he we're will be there by the him, way. Oh, he will be. Oh, absolutely. So we're gonna try to get him on the show in 2020. He will be there. Um, so when we do the field, and that would be show. great, and I think he would do it for sure. But anyways. Um, Kevin Costner had done an interview about him and was just like so cool and nice and great. And I was like, now Costner, now I have to follow you. Okay. Uh, and I, and, um, I'm about to start Yellowstone. So I better, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna don't like, start it without me. Of course. But I where, think, where is it? It's, um, I think it's prime. On Amazon Prime? I think it's on right, Amazon cool. Prime. Cool. And um, I've heard it's just the most amazing thing, so I'm going to like him even more. So it's a preemptive follow. Uh, Ricky, Ricky Lake, I just think, is funny because she's super into Burning Man. And to me, like seeing her, Ricky Lake's posts at Burning Man <laughs> makes me really happy. And I just like think it's so fucking crazy. Like, what a world. Ricky Lake is a Burning Man fan, huh? Oh, huge. Who and you know, guess? once you're a burner... Yeah. It's all year. Oh, I know. I know. It's all year. They do fundraisers for Burning Man. They it. go to Burning Man parties after the Burning Man. I mean, they're in the zone. Yeah. Their their heads are unzipped all year. Yeah. 
right? So I think that's funny. But anyway, I don't, I find most um, celebrity Instagrams to be really boring. Uh, you see Kevin, Unless you love them, right? Kevin Costner endorsed uh, Booty Judge this week. Did he? He did. Look. He did. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's I, not like super vocal about it, right? He just. I mean, it he was did a, it in a speech or something. What story. happened? I, they okay. met, and I, who knows? I, uh, I mean, Kevin Costner's endorsement is. That's what people were laughing about. Um, uh, <laughs> they were like, "Was it necessary that you I need mean, to make your?" You could just say you liked him, but anyway, I don't. I wouldn't call a celebrity liking a politician an endorsement. I think that we we save that word for when you get like your party's. You know what I mean? Like somebody from your party's endorsement. Yeah, 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 is yeah, that yeah. right? Yeah. Am I wrong? What? Wait, why not? If you just like a politician, is that called an endorsement? Or do we save the word endorsement for people you that say are... I'm endorsing this candidate for president of the United States. So that's kind of the deal. Okay. But does it really matter unless you're like in the in politics, whether you're endorsing or not endorsing? I mean... Yeah. I mean, look, if you like take Kevin Costner, right? If, if you have a lot of followers and all that stuff, like you're helping your candidate. You're using your platform. Okay. Correct. We do it on Drinking Bros all the time for, you know... Okay. Helping whoever we want to win and, and all that shit. So, um, yeah. I, look, if you have that many millions of followers, it helps. It really does. I, look, because there's diehard Costner fans out there who will do that. And again, I'm sure some of the jokes were like, do you want Costner's endorsement? I had a friend of mine who used to be massively famous. Um, he's not that famous anymore. I had a choice. Like, he just didn't want to. He wanted to spend more time with his family and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And this is, this is how you can show that everybody really can get along. He made an endorsement uh, yesterday on, on Instagram for his people. Mm-hmm. And it was him with Bernie Sanders and Ocasio-Cortez. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, eh, we both follow each other. We both like each other's shit. A friend of ours. Yes. Yes. Look. Don't care. Don't care. Don't but care. Th- now is the time where people are putting in, all right, great. Because you're down to okay. seven. Okay. You're down to seven now. The last debate mm-hmm. was uh, last week. Mm-hmm. You're down to seven candidates, and it's going to keep thin- thinning out, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first caucus, by the way, were first primary, first votes. This is going to blow your mind. I'm just going to pull that wig back, Jabes. You don't have a wig. That's a term. It's a rap term. Oh. Um, man, we, you were white, Jabes. We need to de-white you this year. Um, I'll stay. <laughs> February 6th. <laughs> Yeah, what did they say? 45 45 days. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 45 45 days days away from the caucus. That's it. I can keep my wig on because I knew that already. Yeah. Oh, you did know that. Is that something you say? I'm going to keep my wig on. That wig bush back. Um, Yeah, I'm going to keep my wig just where it is. Yeah, leave it right on. Is that like a thing? Are you going to attach it with some Strike Force from StrikeForceEnergy.com? We had a neighbor. Sponsor. Last night. Tell the story, yeah. Yeah, so we had a neighbor last night that was like, my strike force isn't here yet. It's going to be here in like a week. I don't know what happened. You know, I, I, she procrastinated. It wasn't like they didn't send it or whatever. Sure. She procrastinated on ordering it, and then it's like holidays, da-da-da. And she was like, can I borrow some strike force from you? And I, I promise I'll replace it. Yeah. Um, you know who you are. I don't know if she listens to this show. Um, but... Uh, we, I had to like give her, like in the middle of the night, like a bag of strike force for her fix. And she took one right in front of me, too. She was like, I need it right now. She lives like a block away. Everybody, man. I, look, we keep it on us at all times. We just did a live show in Philadelphia, and everybody had it. Man, I, I know it's a sponsor, um, but it's rare you, you use the. It's not, actually, it's not rare with our, with our products, but like fucking strike force you drink every day. Same with Black Rifle Coffee. You drink that every day. Yeah. Um, Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. No carbs, no sugars. Last longer, five hour energy. And here it is. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is under Drinking Bros Podcast for the new media company, with all our other shows, everything will be on there. Here it is. Tasty, tiny little tin pouch. You rip it open and squeeze it into any liquid available. Boom. You're good to go and get out the door. Um, four flavors. Um, and then the boxes they ship it to you are the same ones you see at 7-Eleven when you check out. That way, you can just pop open the carton and you don't have to spill it everywhere or do whatever the fuck it is. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Subscribe today. 20% off with the promo code REVOLUTION. REVOLUTION. Um, the, the next step, the, the, one of the other biggest uh, Yoris of the year, pop culture-wise. Uh-huh. This was my 
you suck me into this show. And um, there's things that men and women do together. And then you end up kind of liking it. Okay. Suck me in to The Bachelor. Sure. And and you're a better man for it. I am. Don't you Don't you believe? Pop culture wise, at least. <laughs> I know you what at least talking know about. what people are talking about. Hannah, and why all of a sudden, once The Bachelor is on, why all of the first five podcasts are all Bachelor related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah, B is my, Hannah B was my favorite contestant, girl wise. That has ever been on the show that I've I've watched with you, mm-hmm. and uh, still love Hannah B. I I predicted because your mom watches Dancing with the Stars, right? And I told you and her. I said, "Look, she's going to that." She what? You told us she was going to. I told her she not only was she going to be on it, but she was going to win. She was going to win. And I said that because it's all votes. And I said that first day out when she as soon as she left that house, I go, "She's going to go on the Dancing with the Stars, and she's going to fucking win." Mm. That's exactly what happened. Mm. Um. I think that she has a fun personality to her, whatever you think of her. Right. I think she's going to continue to do a bunch of big shit. I really do. Um, Because the guy then that was on her season is now the new guy, Mm -hmm. Peter, the pilot. And also spawned the Tyler C. Yes. Gigi Hadid situation, which. Is that still going? No. Okay. But it really did. It melded so many different worlds and kind of brought The Bachelor into a different realm Mm -hmm. so that season you're right i would say that the season of the bachelor this year was pivotal for a lot of different reasons but yeah yeah because then you had uh, colton jump in the fucking fence right no that was that was the last one Mm. so she was on colton's do you remember that yeah 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 yeah. but but that that was the beginning of the year because they did two a year Right, so, so then they do a bachelor and a bachelorette. So then Colton jumped the fence, and then, and then Hannah B. Hannah moved B was on the, to be the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Colton, what a fucking that guy. I, he's still together with that girl, I guess. Yeah, and they're just like figuring it out. So thirsting it up all over the place. Traveling they the world. do every. <laughs> if you need them to sponsor anything, <laughs> they'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think. Do you know so. what I mean? Or like, uh, sorry, advertise. If you need them to advertise literally anything mm-hmm. at any moment, they will. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they are they are doing a photo shoot for something different every day. Those two, busy, busy. I think Homeboy will get married on this this one. I think he'll get engaged. You think so? Yeah. Doesn't kind of look like there's anyone in the bunch, but you'll you'll tell me first episode because you like to guess. Episode one, yes. who's going to win? Yeah, and I'm usually pretty good at that. You didn't pick Cassie, though, for this one. I, she was a dark horse. I, I, I picked her to be in the final group, but I, did, I still I didn't think she'd win, and I still don't think she was the person. Like That was just so fucking dumb right. to me. Um, I don't know. You can see these little idiots just not being able to figure it out, and you're like, are you f- Hannah B, too? You're just like... That there's yeah. a reason oh, why you're God. single. Mm-hmm. There you go. Fucking idiot. But there you go. I will say this. Single Hannah B is still fun. Yeah. They're just like, hey, great. Yeah. Whereas the other one, Colton, now he needs another another little link in that chain or mm-hmm. he'll go off the dummy course, you know? Well, I think she's a beard. That'll come out way later. Whoa. Yeah. That's a monster statement. Oh. <laughs> widely you known. You think he's gay? Widely known that Colton may be gay. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. that would that would. It not went along with me. the whole virgin thing. So remember when he was a virgin, he was yeah. really scared of the, um, the sweets. Mm-hmm. My God, the what are they called? <laughs> the dream sweet. What do you call it? Yeah, fantasy sweet. Fantasy sweets. Oh my gosh. So um, he was really scared of the fantasy sweets. Yet he, mm-hmm. he needed to talk to to Chris. Yeah. About it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of things that started with that, and then on his season, it was just. You know, I think he found the best partner, Beard, to, yeah. to follow him on this journey for money, which he is on now, right? Which is right. like, so he found the perfect person that like looks great. She's fucking gorgeous. They could handle each other. They're fine. They have fun. Sure. You know? Yeah. Nah. Is All he right. doing what he has to do until he's able to come out? Probably. Yeah. I, it's going to be a while though before he comes out. Oh yeah, he has to he's keep very making that money. Yeah, he's very young too. Yeah, so. if he comes out in his thirties, he'll be good to go. Oh yeah, yeah. After all of this, and then it's like when it's a little bit more 
Yeah. You know, because gay marriage was just in this decade, which I learned. Yes. From this was uh, legalized Shit. in this decade. So it was. Yeah, it was. You know, um, and then there's still fucking bullshit. And the, by the way, happening whenever like Democrats stump for like we're the LGBTQ, we're the real champions of that. No, it was Obama's seventh year in office that that finally passed. And it was literally because they needed votes at that point. So oh, yeah, he was for the next not, election. Yeah, he, he wasn't he, down. None of them were fucking down. Um, and speaking of it, look, Austria just legalized it this year for Christ's sakes. Yes. Where you're just like, Jesus Christ. Um, one of the biggest stories of, of uh, last year was the Khashoggi thing. You know, mm-hmm. he was up for the person of the year, or time mm-hmm. person. Did he end up being time person of the year for last year? I think he was. Khashoggi, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the reason I bring that up is there, there, was, an, uh, there was a resolution to that actually today. Oh, okay. So there are um, five people they have found in their fake trial over there. Um, are going to be sentenced to death and then the three others are going to jail they're going to be beheaded um they were the ones that were the agents that were involved in it Good. um the, th- the irony i find behind that everybody is really pissed off about it online today um and, and i look I, I am too for the same reasons of it was ordered by the prince he should be the only one to die anybody underneath him who works for the government or the military over there who's performing an action that was an order a direct order by the prince that you cannot go against that or you're going that they, they behead you for die. that. Yeah. yeah. So I what mean, the fuck? should they die? No, but I mean, they should get the same well, sort of punishment that they give to. So the guards like from Auschwitz, let's say, right. Yes. So the guards that were being told or whatever it may be, or they were being told to do something or else they were going to die. They got punishment, you know? Yeah. Uh, unless they went like above and beyond, then they would get killed or whatever. But, but the, the problem with this is, if you're again, if you're military and you're working for the government and they tell you to do something, right? you have to follow those orders. So people are really pissed off that no, nothing's actually going to happen to the real to people him, behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're going to kill the people that were ordered to do mm-hmm. it. So that was breaking news today. But uh, mm-hmm. that cause sh- that's going to be the end of that. There is no, there's going to be no more justice than that. The, oh no. no. Don't think anything's happened to the fucking prince. Mm-mm. So, um, which is ridiculous, but yeah, uh, China first landing on the far side of the moon this year was a big deal. I would like to see us go back to the fucking moon. I want to see that go down again. For what? It's been fifty years, right? Mm-hmm. It's, this year was the fiftieth year anniversary. Mm-hmm. Sounds crazy, right? Mm-hmm. We even done that again since like i mean we i know we did it in the 70s but and they mm-hmm. stopped going at that point mm-hmm. but um to me i think you've start you've got to start evaluating space a little more i know trump just p- passed spaceport force and all that stuff mm-hmm. which sounds ridiculous but that will not be ridiculous in fucking 10 years i can promise you that um i think it's time to start evaluating these other planets and whether or not they are that's fine i don't think we need to go back to the moon personally mm-hmm. i think we're all good on everything that the moon is and that it has to offer Here's and i know you might want like the majesty of the moon landing it's but not, it will it's, never it's, happen it's not that. again in that so the moon way. controls tides right if somehow it gets out of whack or, wh- or whatever happens right mm-hmm. the more and more we study because that look it causes floods. It causes devastation. All that shit. Like uh, down here, we had we had a red tide moon. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that what it's called, Jamie? I think so. Red tide, yeah. Or blood, blood tide moon, or there's blood, blood moon. There's red tide. Which red one are you talking moon. about? I think it was red tide moon. We lost half of a beach down in uh, Carolina Beach, and it just was overnight, no warning, no nothing. And you were like, "What?" And I remember asking. Uh, there was a police officer down there. I was like, "What? What happened?" Mm-hmm. And they were like, "Ah, oh, red tide and moon. Mm-hmm. You know, moon. Nothing you can do." And I was like, Red Moon, yeah. or whatever it is, mm-hmm. whatever the, the, the exact name of it, it was, was, was uh, and to me, I was like, what do you mean there's nothing you can do? So you just let it happen and that's it? How far did you know it was going to go? How much could it have flooded? How, what, what could have happened? And mm-hmm. it's like, I think the more and more you study about it, the better it could be in the future. And yeah, I'm giving a little peek he's over there to Buzz Aldrin. Okay. Because he's standing on the moon over there. Okay. Uh, I get a signed Buzz Aldrin moon shot. Uh, moon picture from Buzz himself over there. So whatevs. I'm a big deal, James. Um, but I, I want to, uh, I, I, I think they should study it more in case something like that 
something else happens. You know? Like, what if a crater or some fucking asteroid just took a, hit the moon and took a big chunk out of it? I mean, yeah, I mean, that'd be what's, crazy. What's the effects of that? Like, I don't know. And then the other thing that was interesting was there was a 60 Minutes piece on it where they have over, like, 500 pounds of moon rocks and all the shit they've brought back. Mm-hmm. And they were like, 90% of these haven't even been studied. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just think there's more to it. Um, and I think just for a nostalgic thing, I like space, I, space exploration. So I think it's more of a nostalgic thing for you. Right? No, I, I think it's, I think it's all valuable. I think Mars is valuable. I think all of that is, is worth exploring. Um, yeah. And I would say, look, I think, I think there'll be a Mars landing at the end of the decade, 2030. Mm, maybe. That's a prediction. Okay. I think we'll put a, hu- someone will put a human on Mars. I don't know who it'll be, but um, if it's our country or someone mm-hmm. else's, but I think, let's face it, China, China was the first one to land on the other side of the moon this year. Like, come on. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there was, uh, there was a lot of crazy shit that went on uh, this year. Um, I mean, I also, you know, I'm looking back at like some of the deaths, the biggest deaths mm-hmm. of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Carl Lagerfeld was on there. That, that was a big one for people. And I was like, yeah, hmm. not that big for me. But everybody's, he's getting a lot of shine. Okay. Did you like all his shit? No. No, right? Yeah. <laughs> People were like, oh, that was that was a massive one. I can't believe Luke we... Luke Perry was my biggest Yeah. <laughs> Luke Perry's not even on any of these lists, you know? Nuh-uh. As I'm looking around. Yes. Nuh-uh. Luke Perry was He was, was the biggest, like... If I did, like, when we had our little holiday parties in the neighborhood and stuff, I was kind of, like, doing a poll, my, my, own, my own sort of poll of, like, what do you think? Like, if you had to just say, what's the... F- biggest story of this year yeah. the one thing that was like oh my god between you know so some people are like college scandal some people are like jussie yeah. and a couple people are like luke perry dying yeah i mean are you kidding <laughs> it made me re reevaluate my whole life i felt a million years old a whole part of my life was yeah. gone right a lot of our first crushes especially if we're boomers right so it was a it was impactful and I remember when he died there was like so many texts from so many people that were like <gasps> crying so sad as, as I was perusing the like because you know I'll come through all this shit like yeah MSNBC CNN uh, Kenneth Lagerfeld was up there on, on a lot of these and I was just like Which is gr- I mean that's great that's fine that's, that's fine. fine but, but Luke Perry's the di- like that was the dude I mean he was in the middle of uh, an insane comeback he was you know what I mean yeah I think such a great guy I think we found out from that from his death yeah. how amazing he actually was yeah which was so sad and tragic uh, and just 90210 and being all of our first crushes and just thinking for some reason we thought that he would live forever I don't know why I think that's what we all thought he's only like 52 though, exactly right? but yeah. we thought he would just be like this old guy that faded away yeah man um, but yeah when I saw I, there was not a Nobody really had that on there, you know? They got these other people, Khashoggi's and fucking Kevin Lagerfeld and all that. I'm just like, yeah. Luke Perry, man. It's fucking Luke Perry this year. That's the hugest. Um, the King Jong Um meeting with uh, mm-hmm. President Trump. That was, that was something big. I, I didn't think that would happen in my lifetime. Yeah, that was definitely on the list. Nobody I know picked it. <laughs> but. That's some, I mean, I never thought a president You'd or anybody else would like go to. You'd have to like Trump in order to pick that one, I think. Because if you no. don't, if you don't I, like him, I look him, at it the opposite way. Of, if you don't like him, it's just like. But I look at it the opposite way of I did not think a sitting U.S. I don't, and again, I don't care who's president. No, we know you don't, Ross. But the lot of people. I, care. I look at a it lot as of I did not care. think a sitting U.S. president would ever go to North Korea. Like just that never even entered my mind. Right. Um. I think the next big one is if someone went to Iran, because I don't know if that's happened. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like, that would be big, but I don't, I don't see that happening. No. I wouldn't say in my lifetime, but, you know, because, there, look, there were some uprisings around the world, and I think eventually Iran will have its own. 
But uh, the North Korea thing, man, that fucking, his dad died, and then he, that little fucker popped up in there, and I was like, great. And he's young as shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no one will ever go there. It will just be this weird fucking country that, Mm -hmm. you know, they have people and live, and we know nothing about, we still don't really know anything about them, but. uh, We know they're pretty bad. We think, (laughs) you know, fuck, I don't know. Um. (laughs) We know, but yeah. Um, the Avengers. Okay. Biggest movie, fastest to reach the two billion mark, two billion dollars. Okay. I remember when the Titanic came out. In Cats hasn't come out yet, so it did, and uh, it bombed miserably. It came out six point five when? million dollars uh, over the weekend. Is that it's out? Six point oh, five million. I saw this group that um that is the lowest. This. That is going to be the biggest bomb, one of the biggest bombs of all time. This group was doing a go to cats dressed as dogs. And so it was like this big <laughs> thing where everyone was like dressing, like finding some kind of dog suit in your respective city or whatever and sure. taking pictures. So that's pretty funny. Yeah. I, um, like that. I, I, like I was surprised. I'm very surprised by that um, because I thought that more people would go to see it for the. The nonsense of it all. Like the showgirlsness of it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh. we're going to do one of your shows where we watch Cats on Drugs. Yeah. So my idea was um, when our other co-host is here to have each one of us on a different drug. Yeah. Whether it be like someone's on alcohol, someone's super high, someone's on mushrooms. Yeah. Dan's got dibs. Um, what were you? Oh, syrup. Yeah, we'll do the syrup. Uh, we'll pop some so anyways, out. and watch it and do a reaction. That's my dream. I hope that we get to do it. We will do that. I promise you that I can if promise we dress you. as dogs. Huh? Yeah. Uh, the reason why the, the Avengers thing was so big for me, like, again, if you're the most searched thing of all time on Google for the year, it's Jumanji, right? Right. Wouldn't it was you not think, the biggest. Yeah. You would think it is, but it wasn't. And for me, I guess as a kid, I watched. So Titanic was a billion dollars, right? Mm-hmm. That to me is when I started fall, like I knew what I was going to do in life and I started tracking box offices and stuff and you know I was just a kid but I knew that I wanted to do it and I remember thinking a billion dollars that will never be beaten ever right mm-hmm. not only has it been beaten numerous times but now you're at two like you doubled Titanic whereas Titanic I watched I went I that was I went three times and saw that in a movie theater um just because I thought the movie was that good mm-hmm. like the CGI, yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it was the everything of it all. It was just a big, huge production that just seemed real and really well done. And like, you're looking for things that, like, uh, me personally, I guess, I was like, ah, oh, they had to fuck up something. Like, one of them has to be wearing sneakers or something like that. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, it just seems like they got <laughs> a it right. Starbucks cup. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Um, but uh, now that that's doubled you know Mm -hmm. and it just doesn't really seem like that big of a deal where you're just like "Ah, i guess it's because it's it's a comic book movie yeah titanic was original yeah i I feel like everybody had to go see that yeah uh and all that other stuff um you know that that'll lead in your starbucks comment will lead into the other thing was you know biggest show of the year biggest season finale of the Mm -hmm. year was uh game of thrones yep and everybody hated that and now that show's over and it's strange because you don't hear anybody talking about that. Mm. Remember, it was like oh, it was everything, everything to everyone, every single week, and then it ended, and people were like, "Fuck you!" for like two weeks, and then it's just we disappeared. should in two years we should start it and just like <laughs> make it huge just for the show. We'll talk about it like it's like we don't know what brand the next new. one is. Yeah, brand new. And we'll be like, spoiler alert! Don't tell us, right? Don't post anything. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, so are you going through like the biggest stories right now of the year? So there was the um, yeah. Trump meeting North Korea. Yeah. What was another like big one that you have on there? Um, look, man, the Hong so Kong protests the, are massive, obviously. That's huge, but that's been going on for a very long time. It is. And I don't know when it's going to end. And that that's something's going to have to happen, obviously. Um, what was supposed to end? I think that's the point is that. Um. So the whole thing started in '97. Yeah. So in '97, Hong Kong got 
given back to China from Britain. Correct. Right? Yeah. And so, and they were supposed to. It was just thing that they were dangling like their own. They could you know, their democracy dangling it over them and all of a sudden it was just like, no. Mm -hmm. So since, I think it was this year that they were supposed to make a decision and they didn't. And they said like, yes, we hear you and we see you. And the answer is no. Right. And so that I think is why it got ramped back up again, right? Right. But it has been going on forever. For a long time. But, uh, yeah, so I I think it's that being in the forefront and everyone, even in the U.S., actually knowing about it and talking about it and mm-hmm. seeing how fucking horrible it is i think that's huge and, and something may happen um but we had never given a shit about it before yeah I, we, we do now because everything is owned by a lot, a lot of our real estates a lot of our movie studios a lot of everything we do is owned by china mm-hmm. um so something will happen this year i just don't know what it is and then i, I would say the last biggest news story of the year for me, uh, sports-wise, and this will probably be a surprise to you, mm-hmm. um, would probably be the U.S. women's soccer team winning the World Cup. Oh, yeah. That was a big deal. No, that Those was girls huge. had talked so much shit. They had so much pressure on them. And to win in resounding fashion and then you know, yeah. uh, get the pay raise they deserve and all this other shit on top of it, Like, I, I think... I think for sports, that was a big deal for um, the country. And uh, um, I think it's it's a bigger deal going forward. Because like you said, with Cristiano Ronaldo, soccer is the biggest sport in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, those women took over for a fucking good month oh, of yes. sports. Where, you know, I look back at like, all right, so you yeah, the Patriots win the Super Bowl. I was at that Super Bowl. It was boring as shit. Um, Nobody really c- cared that Tom Brady won again or Belichick or, you know, like mm-hmm. didn't have the impact that those those women had, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, NBA, Toronto Raptors won. Great. It was Kawhi Leonard who, same thing, couldn't be any more boring. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, baseball was a weird one, man. It was the Washington Nationals. I, I picked the Yankees. I thought that was going to be the sex pick of the year, and it wasn't. Um, so did I. Y- yeah. Um, but then, you know, the U.S. women's soccer just kind of dominated sports, I feel like, for, for the year of 2019. Mm-hmm. And that's the first time that I think I can say that a women's sport took over an entire year where you were just like, oh, shit. All right. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's new. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the biggest fight for the, the 2020s will be um, the transgender athletes. That mm. is going to become a huge, huge deal. Yeah, it's becoming bigger. Because all of these girls are losing their records now. Um, and uh, I mean, even in high schools here, I heard uh, a lady talking about it at the gym where she was just like, and this guy. Yep. He's playing with my fucking, you know, like. Texas is already, look, it is happening in Texas. And as far as sporting states go, I've said this numerous times on Drinking Bro Sports. There is a lot of athletic talent in the state of texas um track field track and field and um and football in particular and uh something is going to have to be done about it because these poor girls and we don't have girls we've got two boys so we don't Mm -hmm. have to deal with this because it's not like a woman's going to switch over into a dude sport good for you have fun lit up yeah we'll have fun but um um denying uh natural biology i think is the 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 saddest thing to yeah. happen yeah the uh the denying of of science and that's not to say that i don't believe that everyone should be able to do whatever the fuck they want to do sure in their lives call yourselves whatever you want to do yeah. make yourself fucking happy i don't give a shit exactly. except for you cannot you know there has to be certain things in place where biology you know and science have to override because someone's gonna get fucking hurt so that's the only thing like just have fun. I'm fucking fine with it. I, I, I don't think enough uh, information is out about it. It's very. It's in the early stages in the same way that uh, homosexuality was, right? And mm-hmm. people don't understand it. And it's going to become something that we're going to have to fucking reckon with. And that's just the deal, right? Yeah. So I'll learn more about it and all of this. But at the same time, uh, people are, people are going to get hurt. And especially if you go into things like fucking, I don't know. Oh, fucking basketball, uh, 
boxing, uh, UFC, you know, stuff like this where there isn't any rules and regulations as far as well, UFC doesn't biology. Allow it. Okay, so if we all kind of get on board with that kind of thing, where it's either, Olympics, yeah. Yeah. Um, although there was Even, a couple runners that looked like they got through on that one. Well, you on can the only Olympics. You can, look, I, I will say this: you can test so much, but there's countries out there where you can fucking beat this shit for sure. Uh, high school, though, though, is to me is a bigger deal simply because you're taking scholarships away from young women that yes. need it. Yes, could use so, it because you're running against dudes, and then what are you going to do then? Uh, but and I, is the answer to have um, just a like your own league? Whereas if this is what it's going to be, then there has to be four different leagues, right? Which is like men, women, women trans, other, other, yeah. right? Are yeah. you this? Are you this? You're yeah, going to yeah. compete against this, right? Yes. So if that's the answer, that's the answer. It's fine. But whatever's happening right now is not. That's no. all I'm saying. No, and but I think but I'm not saying that it's in yeah the next decade. Yes, and. Figure it out because, again, it's not something that's going away. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we can just pretend isn't happening. You know, and even in the beginning of this year, it was still kind of like, let's fucking get our shit together, right? Right. When it was like the Victoria's Secret and this whole fucking thing. But, like, even modeling now. I mean, this year, modeling got ruined, right? Yep. You don't have to be – you don't have to do anything. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to be in shape. You don't have to be a woman. You don't have to be a man. Yep. You don't have to – uh, tan you don't have to like do anything with your skin I mean you can literally be whatever you want and, and you're, you're a model, model. Yeah. so that whole thing of like it actually being something that you need to work hard to do it's gone is gone Victoria's Secret uh, gone they're the actually are gone they they're going the to be gone too I think they're actually probably my prediction next year is going to go out of business right so you know what was the point of that, uh, yeah. No, science. the point of that is, is, is science. Let's stick with science for now and until we figure something in, else in out. In the twenty twenties, yeah. Uh, do you have a crime corner to cap off the year? I do, except for I did want to go through really quick a lightning round of things you may have forgot. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Fire away, yeah, fire yeah. away. Yeah. If we are doing a longer show, go Although, ahead. Can we do another sponsor first and then do it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll so do, we'll we do have... the last sponsor of the year because this was uh, ties into the Ukrainian dwarf bush sponsor. Yes. Um, straightrazors.com ooh that's a clean cut smooth oh you like it I want to see if Gordon Wagner is still paying attention uh, this late he loves that he's your favorite on that he's my favorite I don't know what he happened to you right it either he still what does the that? time code he does good for you Gordon we love on you every, on every single show we, we love, love you Wagner. buddy um, also want to give out some love to uh, Rick Abend and the Abend Always. family. Oh, did you get something tonight? They sent us a bottle of Jameson. Oh. That is for our 500th episode. Um, you it guys. It is an unbelievably nice bottle of, of Jamo. I will uh, say of the year. We're not on 500, but we will save it, uh, Rick, for, for the 500th for episode. For the 500, and, and I will say. In the studio. The um, I'm going to have to say the listener of the year is Rick Abend. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. Only because. I mean, they're just, let's say Rick Abend or Eric Tansy. Yeah. You know? We're all Tansy fans. We're all Tansy fans. Rick Abend is basically the illegitimate. He's the, he's your, the, he's the sergeant of your. He's sergeant. He's station. illegitimate, like, manager of the studio. Yeah. Illegitimate dad to all of us. Yeah. Illegitimate brother. You bet. You bet. We love him. We but love anyway. him. anyway. Um, we love you, straightrazors.com as well. Uh, you've been with us since day one. And uh, happy to close out the decade with you. Best in the biz, shaving kit wise. Um, everything you need to be a real man in this life. Uh, straight razors, shampoos, beard oils, conditioners, mustache, waxes. You name it, they got it. If you forgot to get your dad a kit, get him a shaving kit I now. You, you can, can get it engraved. Still, yeah. The Ukrainian bush dwarf shaver on there. Um, again, proud sponsor of all Ukrainian dwarves everywhere. Yeah. Um, go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. You want to go to the lightning rounds? Get a lightning Let's round. Let's do lightning round. I'm going to do year and decade. Okay. Things you may have forgot where yeah, you could go. Yeah. I love the thing of like, oh, yeah. All right. Right? Yeah. So let's do decade first. All right. Um, Firefest guy was sentenced. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Yanni versus Laurel. Do you remember this? Oof. There's another one going on today that I saw, mm. I saw yesterday. Do you know what this is? No. It is... Is the is the person swinging towards the building or away from the building? Oof. 
this video. I, I, I can only see it one way. Same with the Yanni versus Laurel thing. I could only. Which one did you see? Anyways, you saw it in Laurel. your eyes the right way. Laurel. And I heard Yanni. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and then you're like, only dumb people here. Whatever. Yeah. That wasn't it. Yeah. It was frequencies. So if you hear a certain frequency, it not, has nothing to do with how smart or dumb you are. But although I love that you jumped on that and called me dumb. So <laughs> um, the Hawaiian missile thing. Remember when they they said that. Do you remember the accidentally? Oh my god, that's right. Do you remember they that? Set a fucking missile. And everyone in Hawaii up woke up Hawaii. heart attack. Yeah. Old ladies dying of a heart attack. <laughs> um, and that wasn't real. Elon Musk smoking weed. I think that Rogan was pretty pretty pivotal that was in this my year. mind. That was this year. So these are of this year. That was great. Um, I enjoyed that interview. I like Joe Rogan. I enjoy his podcast, and uh, that was a great one. Yeah, that was a really good one. And we have to say that. The college admission scandal was, I think, on a lot of people's top stories. You know, it's funny. So it is to me personally. Not a big deal. No. You were as soon as it broke, you were famously like, mm, and I would too, moving on. Yep. So but the way that it's coming out more and the way that, you know, these two ladies are just having to fucking take the heat for every single well, person that's thing. ever done this. Felicity Huffman did the right thing. She did the right thing, but I think as far as hers, time wise, she I know. was like, dude, I'm in and out. She's done. She's done, but I will say this. Hers is different. So she um, made like a donation towards her kid getting a good score, whereas um, the other gal mm -hmm. from Fuller House. Yeah. Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky, I mean, had her kids be on a pretend rowing team, and she really like went through all the other avenues. And I think it's because her kid is more out there and a bigger dum-dum. That it's just a those kids are smoke shows too, and it's like, dude, they didn't for need you. it. USC. I know why that's you're cool. gonna kill yourself to get into USC. Yikes! It's in Compton. Anyways, um, and then the last that's thing funny is you said that that's right because you're I just glossed that over. No, and that wasn't a big thing to you. But as no. far as the three, I think it was it was Jesse. In my mind, it was Jesse. It's the scandal, and it was Luke Perry. So, and in our neighborhood, that pretty much checked out. Jo Jesse Smollett. I mean, that was fucking crazy. Still is crazy. It's still it's crazy. It's still crazy. I and he's going to be on the um, finale of Empire. I want to so. give ourselves a pat on the back for that because we were the first show. Because we were there the, the day that it broke. And b uh, both of us said, this is fake. And we took. Well, we definitely. Like, this is not popular. We and took some fucking heat for that. Oh, yeah. Because I got you can't flooded say that. with messages you of can't like, say that. fuck you. Yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. But why blah, did blah. we say that? Okay. Because I know because I know Chicago at 2 a.m. Like Chicago, that's crazy. 2 a.m. You're going to a subway degree weather. And also, I just nooses gotten, and bleach. Yeah. MAGA country. All those things are Chicago's just. Chicago's not MAGA country. I've been in Chicago. The, the other thing, too, is I just come back. What was it the week before from the AFC championship game in Kansas City where it was 18 degrees with the wind chill? It was like eight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, motherfucker, unless unless it was the biggest game on earth going on, I would never be out in that weather. Let alone at 2 a.m. For a subway, subway sandwich. Postmates it, bro. Um, that's definitely that was definitely. Um, Oof. Who had a big special? Anyways, you're right. That was a, that was that was probably the biggest story of the. To year me, it was the, the biggest story. So yeah. yeah, when every but impeachment, I don't even. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not adding it because I think that's going to be more next year. And also, it's just like they're really trying to get it into this year's stories, and I'm not going to let it happen. Yeah. So. Uh, those three were the biggest, but then you go, you forget about things in the beginning of the year, right? So it's right. like, um, yeah, and then Ben Affleck's tattoo is confirmed. Oh. <sighs> Remember that gorgeous thing? It's, he's a, we it's finally, a phoenix rising it's from the ashes. It's phoenix rising from the ashes. And so, Jennifer Garner is the ashes. So. <laughs> yeah. Remember her? She said that? She's she, like, that better not be me saying I'm the when fucking did she ashes say and that? the phoenix. Did she... When did she say that? Right after it came out online. She was oh just God. like, don't fucking reference me like that, homeboy. She was not stoked. All right. So of the decade, let's do a quick lightning. Okay. Um, Gangnam Style is the most viewed video of all time. I get it. We have a, I know. We did have some, a personal connection to somebody, that. Did somebody, something broke it though, right? Was it uh, Thank You Next, maybe? That what? Oh. Broke. Uh, oh, it's definitely gotten, I'm saying like. Hmm. It was something. Oh, Camille Cabello or something like that. The most what? viewed YouTube, what? though? What? what? 
This is the most viewed video. Yeah, 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 yeah. So video, I, I, think, I think so. Video has gone way down, right? So if you want to say streaming song or streaming, but as far as like people watching videos, opposite actually. So it's gone way up. Yes, oh. you, you, it's gone way up for YouTube now. So of music videos, correct? Okay, it is a so that is one of the biggest cash cow like things there is. Um, when MTV died, the music business, video business went to shit because right. um, they didn't have a platform to do it on. And then kids, all they wanted to do was watch the actual videos. Yeah. So that is back in a massive way. And if you're a music video production house in L.A., you are killing it. And the budgets are back. Everything is back. The creativity oh, okay. and the fun is oh, back. Oh, we know people, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, it's switched. But I think since we're on topic about it, I think it was Gangnam Style that was the one that was just like, it made all the record labels look at it and be like, wait, this this got a billion views? Why the fuck aren't we doing all of our music videos on YouTube? And I think that was the switch. That that really was the turning point, I think, for, for music videos. Okay. We'll keep it lightning round. Yeah. And so, um, uh, Harambe. Oh, you ruined my revolutionary figure of the year. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> of the decade. No, I'll give we'll it to you on. now. We'll give it to you. Oh, well, no, we'll give it to you now. Yeah. Revolutionary figure of the decade it's Harambe, dude. Harambe, obviously. RIP, my dick is still out. Yep. My dick's still out. That was huge, remember? Dick's out, tits still out. Still huge to me, yeah. Still huge. The total solar eclipse, remember that? Oh, we did a show I'm on it. Eclipsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm but we did eclipsy. a show about it, and we played the clip of that guy like full on having an orgasm oh. watching it. Um, Me Too movement, think what you will, started this decade, right? Yeah. The iPad came out. Uh, Are you kidding? I don't need it. I know, but I is that kind of crazy to think? No, it okay. is. Yeah, it is. It is actually. Uh, I think it's the it's not it's not as crazy because the phones now are so fucking big that it's like. Do you feel it feels like the iPad's been out for 20 years? I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah. uh, we lost that Malaysian flight. <laughs> Remember that shit? Uh, yes. Yes. I talked. I talked lost about it. that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where's the plane? Where's the fucking plane? Alex Jones. I asked. We oh, were, what did he have to say? I mean, they found out. He said it was out, blown but. out of the sky by fucking well, in Muslims. June, jihad. June or July of this year, they um, reported that the pilot probably uh, crashed, crashed it, it and, yeah. But he's, whatever. He's saying it was blown out. Oh, but okay. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know the truth. I don't. That's what he said. Right. Yeah. Um, Rebecca Black Friday came out. Ooh. <laughs> Friday. Friday. Still love that song. Still love it. Amazing. I've never, never gotten a amazing. Grown what these it. girls can do with bat mitzvah money or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um. What? Does that say Lady Gaga wore a meat dress and planking? Do you remember planking? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was fucking planking everywhere. Yeah, I'm planking. You would do it. Yeah, at the house just to piss me off. I'm planking. I'm planking. <laughs> um. So that's the that's the lightning round. Uh, yeah, we of look, things you may have forgotten. We had Vine this decade, Instagram this decade, TikTok this yeah, decade. Yeah, Vine. Goodbye, Vine. This decade, we, it started and then it ended started for no ended. reason whatsoever. By the way, you yeah. could have sold Vine yeah. and just bought that and have that been TikTok. Um, I Zuckerberg, s- uh, fucking trials, like all kinds of fucking crazy shit. Yeah, I right? think you're gonna see more of those in the twenties, and then it's nothing's gonna happen. No, nothing's gonna happen. Um, and then you know, I figured since we are uh. We're ca- it is Christmas. We're yes. doing the year in review yep. because we're taking the break. But it is around Christmas, so I want to do a family crime corner, will you? Yeah. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. Yes. So let's keep it, you know, family oriented, right? Yeah, why not? So man arrested for digging up parents' corpses mm. to swap bones for a motorbike. I know you have questions. I don't have a lot of answers, but I'm going to try. <laughs> As usual, right? Um, so police have detained a man in Mozambique. I mean, really, do laws apply there? I'm not sure. The beak, a lot of people call it. Nobody calls it. Nobody calls it the beak. But anyway, thank you so much for interrupting. Your so works. after... 
after he allegedly admitting to digging up his dead parents and uncle Mm. in order to trade their bones for a motorbike. So there's a lot to think about. So first off, first of all, what kind of worth that much? Yeah. Well, what kind of motorbike, right? Can you buy with bones? Yeah. Mozambique, right? Who knows? I don't know. Um, And then why? Why would you want a bunch of bones in the first place? Whoever's giving you the motor motorbike, right? The motorbike, yeah. So, in short, the man uh, has been arrested and kept in kept in by the coppers. <laughs> Shut up! I hate when they like try and be funny. Let me be funny. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just to state the facts. I hate when they like put in little jokes. Sure. Um, after he admitted that he dug up three bodies to sell them to fund a motorbike. Uh, he believed that he would be paid three hundred dollars. By the way, what a small amount of money! What amount of money would it take you, right? To dig up bones. To dig up your parents' bones. Mm, more than that. Three. I would say a fair bit more than that. Yeah. It's a small price to pay for sure. But in fact, um, what are, you, are you trading the bones? Or that what are they doing with the so, bones afterwards? So the suspect claims that he was enticed into the crime by a businessman whose interest in its extraction of mineral resources in the town. But I think there's actually a darker reason. Mm. Uh, Some reports suggest that the bones, which need to be from corpses who died um, and weren't sick, are used in witchcraft, which is Ah. a fun little Christmas thing. Okay, yeah. Just a little fun little Christmas witchcraft, right? A little holiday (laughs) witchcraft, you know? (laughs) The, uh, The police reported the man confessed to exhuming the corpses in the space of one evening, which is like if you would have just spent that time like trying to raise the money in another way. Sure. You can obviously really work. Yeah. Because getting up, by the way, getting three bodies all the way down, right, and Uh dug up in one night is very impressive. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. So the boss is, the boss told me to to look for bones from people who died without getting sick in exchange you will get a motorbike. So again, we're not really I'm not I as usual I'm not going to give you a lot of answers. No. And you are going to be left with a lot more questions. With a lot more questions yeah, yeah. than answers. Yeah. But a fun little family one. You yeah, know what I nice mean? For the holidays. Digging up the family for the holidays for, the holidays, for yeah. a motorbike. Because Santa's probably not going to bring it, right? What kind of motorbike is it for 300 bucks? I mean, that seems rather cheap for a motorbike. Exactly. Huh. It's probably it's a used. small amount. Of, yeah. Oh. For a used motorbike. So all of this for a used motorbike. And the beak. That you don't even get. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas, huh? Whew. Whew. The beak, man. You don't know what, what goes down on the beak. You know? Gosh, and it's not the beak, it but it's Mozambique. It, Mozambique. Yeah, the beak. Man. The beakster, dude. You're in the stink of the beak. You're in the stink of the beak. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, Jabes? Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen in 2020. We don't. We do know that we will be here. We will be uh, on the YouTube. Um, we go to Drinker Bros Podcast. Everything is underneath there. All of our shows will be there. We know Jesse will have an, uh, a new show in the New Year's. And we know that we are grateful for you guys every single year for listening, watching, and sending us messages and uh, trinkets to the office. Um, we sincerely want to thank you guys for another awesome year of the Ross Patterson Revolution podcast. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. Hopefully you had a great year, and if not, hopefully 2020 will be your year. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you next year.